themes for Nurses Week is community engagement. I have Marlene Neary from Infection Prevention here with me, who works with the community daily as a part of her professional practice. I have a few questions. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at the VA? Um, I started at the VA in 2013. I initially worked on 9B. At that time, it was a hospice short-term care unit. Um, and I was there for approximately like a year and a half, close to two years. Uh, and then I just wanted more experience in the medical field or at least um, imp like improving my skill set. So I applied for a job on 7B and I was a medical surgical nurse there up until December of 2019. And then I transitioned over to infection control in uh, January 2020. Excellent. What were your first experiences like working as an infection preventionist at the start of the pandemic? Uh, so just imagine this, I start a new job January of 2020 and there's just some talk about this virus that's hitting uh, China at this point. And I'm like, is this gonna affect my job here in infection control at the, you know, in, in New York uh, in March, 2020? We're in full you know, blown pandemic um, and I'm new to this role. I don't, I don't know what my job entails in regards to a pandemic, but I wasn't alone because if you talk to any infection control nurse anywhere in the world, you know, out in the community in Albany Med or St. Peter's or, you know, anywhere in the world, we were all in the same shoes. I don't think anybody's ever lived through a pandemic as bad as COVID was. Um, so it was scary. Um, it was nerve wracking a lot of anxiety, you know, especially how do I not only protect the veterans, but how do we protect the employees who are taking care of these veterans? So it was hard, um, but thankfully I had really good mentors like Carolyn Scott and Chris Gagnon, um, and they were there with me along the way, and I'm super appreciative and grateful for, you know, their help. Absolutely. How important is community engagement in your role, sp specifically your interactions with public health? Um, so it's super important because as an infection control nurse, you are in constant communication with the Department of Health for every single county, especially dependent on um, that particular disease that you're reporting. It could be Columbia County, it could be Washington uh, County. So we're constantly in communication with different counties um, across New York, um, well, the capital region. Um, and we're also in constant communication with our uh, the hospitals in the region, uh, so Albany Med, St. Peter's, Saratoga. So I am grateful and thankful that we have a network of um, infection control nurses in the community that we can talk to um, and find out, hey, what's happening in your hospital and what are you dealing with and what's your process and what's your policy? So we can kind of almost align to the community and I think that's beneficial. Great. Can you share an inspirational story about your collaborations with public health to promote the safety of veterans, staff, and the community? Uh, again, just to reinforce that we're just always talking to our public health partners, um, especially you know in regards to our veterans in the community. Um, I can say that infection control kind of guides uh, staff um, who work in the community, but we're not boost on the ground we have to give uh, the round of applause to the home you know based primary care nurses who are entering the veterans home or the social workers who are visiting the veterans in you know the homeless shelters or in the community or in the group homes so i think i play a small role a small role in ensuring that um, not i but the infection control department plays a small role in just providing the policy and the procedures that are going to keep people safe but it's really the nurses who are boots on the ground, it's really the social workers who are really engaged in the community. And lastly, how would you recommend that we as nurses can be more involved in community engagement? Um, I think it's important to know what's happening in your community. Uh, and if you are passionate about a particular topic, a particular um, you know, problem that's happening that you're seeing, involving yourself in that. Because remember, what's happening in your community directly impacts 
what's happening in your own household, in your own family, but also impacts um, where you work. So we kind of focus on, hey, how, how, what's happening out there that will impact us here at our job and at our home. So I think it's super important that if you're passionate about a topic um, and just getting yourself involved. Outstanding. Thank you so much for your time, Marlene Neri, and your contributions to the Albany Stratton VA. And this is just a small example of the profound actions that our nurses in action at the Albany Stratton VA are committed to our veterans. Thank you. Back to you, Amy Wedig. Thank you.